you're ready for this. Okay, Douglas, okay. okay. see, let's let's do this. Let's do this. So, let's go. so help me introduce yourself to my audience. Hello there, my name is um Douglas Amadiche. Um, from Zimbabwe. Um, I do multiple things. One of them is I'm a clinical um, information officer. I'm a chief informatician. Uh, I do broadcasting myself. I'm a father. I'm an entrepreneur. I like to do everything I can. God blessed us with two hands. So I'm all about trying to maximize my abilities at all times. And that's it. That's me. Good, good, good. Thank you, Douglas. So your your LinkedIn profile says that you are the number one voice for human and uh, digital transformation across Absolutely. health and social care. Mm. Now, what does that mean? Explain it to my, my audience. Well, basically it means when we deploy technology that's supposed to transform a service, Mm. Um, it's going from a state that is inferior to one that should be superior. It should be a, a state that has problems to one that has less problems or different types of problems. That's what we generally mean by change of transformation. Okay, we were trying to improve a process. Yeah. And the NHS, yeah. just like every other industry from retail to engineering to aviation, they've gone through iteration to try and improve the, the customer service experience to, to, to streamline its operations. So that's transformation. So when you could do transformation from a technological perspective, yeah. but the biggest yeah. transformation is humanistic. That's why I always like to talk about human and digital transformation together because change, as we, we know, is the hardest thing for anyone to, to overcome. The slightest change, we, we have issues. Yeah. And COVID yeah. proved that in bulk for most people to, to suddenly work from home. A lot of people struggled. A lot of people didn't understand what the whole, the whole concept was and the impact it would have on their own home life. So change is something that's inevitable, but it's something that humans struggle to reconcile. Yeah. So I like to openly talk about digital change, transformation from a humanistic as well as a technological perspective. Great, great, great. I mean, uh, looking at your, your studio, you have uh, transformed your home into a studio, you know? Yeah. Right, it's a stroke, a stroke studio, stroke... Um, Nursery, I've got a little one at home, a three-year-old. So yeah, you see artifacts for the kids here. Yeah. Kids the world of the place. But yeah, essentially it's creating an environment that's conducive for you to do anything. And even before COVID, yeah. the, the, the philosophy behind that is if you want to achieve anything in life, you've got to create the right conditions to do that. Mm-hmm. If you're athletes, you need to create the right conditions in your kitchen. Yeah. So you do it well with all the fatty foods, all the kind of stuff that doesn't promote fitness. Yeah. Same way, if you want to be a writer, you've got to create that space for you to be able to write effectively. Yeah. So I do a lot of media, do a lot of broadcasting. So you have to create that environment so that you, you're down there or wherever the environment is, all your things are ready for you to go. So just push record. You're good exactly, to go. exactly, exactly. 